I've had cause to talk with people and ask them, what's the meaning of your name? And they said, no, I, I don't know. Or uh, let me ask my father. And sometimes you give them time and then they ask their parents. <laughs> and they say, well, my father doesn't know either. I realized that, you know, people who value these things are reducing the number. And the adults who know the meaning of names are also dying. Online, there's no place where you can find a Yoruba name, and here it's pronounced. So I, I decided that, well, these things have come together in the right time, and we should create a place where people can go and you can click and hear the pronunciation of a name, you can hear the meaning, you can also, you know, see how the name forms and, and pans out, and it can help people who want to learn the language, and those who already speak the language, uh, but just don't have enough knowledge about how the names come about. So the dictionary has meanings and also has stories that concern particular names. Etc. I know you can learn how to spell and how to show much. There's a voice that is only a human being that can tell you anything that you can talk to and can respond to. And that's a combination of two things, of course. Uh, the text to speech part, which is that text that is already in the computer can be pronounced by a machine. And then there's a automatic speech recognition, which is that you can speak to the machine and the machine can interpret what you've said, convert it, understand the instruction and then carry it out or respond to it. I'd seen this video by uh, David Oyelowo, who was on a, a, a Jimmy Fallon's show in the US. And they were laughing about the inability of Americans to pronounce his name. And then I was, you know, I spoke to myself that you know, if this were a Swedish person, um, it would be funny that the uncle can pronounce his name. They would find a way to learn how to pronounce it before the before the guest comes to the show. It's one of the evils of colonialism, uh, which is to go to a place and tell the people who live there that everything they have is worthless and this new thing we are bringing is what will bring you life and happiness and joy. And we have found out, of course, in hindsight that this is not the case because many uh, the same people who brought these ideas have come back now to now adopt many of the things we had had and adopted for so long. For a long time, wondered why that doesn't exist in Yoruba, and for other African languages, the same thing with ATM machines. Because ATM, if you can speak to it, it's automatic speech recognition, and then it can convert what you have said into speech. Then it can then, you know, tell it, give me hundred thousand naira out of my money, and then it asks you, you know, can you put in your pin, and then you put that, and then it gives you um, your money back. When I researched it, I realized it, that it, it came from the missionaries uh, who were trying to convey an idea that was in the Christian religion to a local population that had no concept of it. So in Yoruba, we had good and evil, uh, but Ishu was not a, a bad, it was not an evil god. It was just a trickster who played different characters depending on what he was sent or what purpose the, the, uh, its you know, duties were. People whose names were like Eshubola or Eshubi or things like that, which are names that people bought proudly, over time started becoming demonized by the Christians because then the only reference they had of Eshu was the evil demon in the Bible. Anybody who worked at Google, if you find any problem in the Google uh, universe, you could you know, file a, a ticket, that's what they call it, and just complain, tell them why, tell them you know, what needs to be changed and stuff. So I, so I did that, 
And I went on Facebook and asked people, what would you replace um, devil with in Yoruba or demon or whatever? So we, we had this conversation where we talked about different ways of representing evil that is not an uh, issue. And so we came up with, uh, I think, Belisi for evil, which was also what Bible used uh, for you know, deliver us from evil, by our Lord Belisi. So I was wondering why they didn't use that as well for evil. And then for demon, I think we had um, Anjonu or something like that. And then for, for devil, I think we had uh, Satani, which also worked perfectly. So she was finally set free to <laughs> roam the earth and cause whatever uh, mischief or whatever else you had to do.